Ladies and gentlemen, welcome United States Secretary of Transportation, Elaine Chow. Good morning. I'm the Secretary of Transportation, Elaine Chow. Today, at the 150th anniversary of the Golden Spike Ceremony, marking the completion of the Transcontinental Railroad, is a day to commemorate the contribution of railroads and the contribution and sacrifices of the railroad workers, including approximately 12,000 or more Chinese laborers who risked everything to make the Transcontinental Railroad a reality. The Transcontinental Railroad was a tremendous feat of engineering, innovation, and manpower that was key to unleashing the economic prosperity of the United States for generations. It was one of the greatest infrastructure projects in our country. And within three years of its completion, Trains could travel from New York City to San Francisco in just one week. Prior to that, travelers endured up to six months or more of dangerous travel by ship or covered wagons to cross the continent. The ability to move people and goods across the continent at much reduced time and lower cost led to explosive economic growth. The benefits were felt not only in the big coastal cities, but in the rural interior, which gained access to new markets. Within 10 years of completion, the Intercon intercontinental railroads were shipping $50 million of freight from coast to coast each year. The act of building the Transcontinental Railroad was transformational in and of itself. The government provided land and other resources to encourage private sector investments in the railroads. Innovation and planning guided the project. Standard gauge track was adopted on a national basis, and telegraph lines were built along the track right of way. Nitroglycerin gradually replaced the less powerful black powder when blasting tunnels through the Sierra Mountains. The railroad workers became so skilled that a legendary team of workers, as you have heard, built 10 miles of track in a single day. Today, we pay special tribute to the diverse workforce that built the Seminole Project. Civil War veterans from both the North and the South worked together on the Transcontinental Railroad, along with Mormon settlers, African Americans, Native Americans, and of course, Chinese laborers. Building from the East, as you can see from the trains behind me, the Union Pacific Railroad hired Irish immigrants, African-American immigrants, newly free slaves to lay track across the Great Plains. Building from the West, the Central Pacific Railroad hired 15,000 workers, of which 12,000 or more were Chinese immigrants. These workers of Chinese ancestry blasted and chiseled their way through the rugged Sierra Nevada mountains, using manual hammer drills, pick axes, and explosive. They dug 15 tunnels through pure hard granite. Snow fell so deeply in the mountains that they had to build roofs over 37 miles of track so supply trains could make it through. The conditions were merciless, dangerous, and harsh. 
an estimated 500 to 1,000 Chinese workers lost their lives. But the Chinese workers persevered and played a key role in building one of the greatest infrastructure projects in the world. And their achievement is even more poignant in light of the fact that many of the Chinese laborers did not have the opportunity to bring their families with them or to become citizens of the United States. Many of their names are lost to history. Their families in China may never have known what became of their loved ones. As the first United States Secretary of Transportation of Chinese ancestry, I have the unique and moving opportunity to fully acknowledge and recognize the contributions and sacrifices of these laborers of Chinese heritage to the construction of the Transcontinental Railroad. This great history, which helped to transform our country, was made possible by a diverse group of other brave and determined workers, the railroad laborers and innovators of 150 years ago helped unite our country, every bit as consequential as the digital revolution that binds the world today. Today, we pay tribute to the estimated 12,000 or more Chinese laborers and all the laborers who risked so much to make this great dream a reality, the benefits of which America is still enjoying today. Thank you.